running like they supposed to They come around but they never come close to Good morning YouTube, today is Saturday the 2nd of May, bank holiday weekend, yes! And today I am going down to London to meet with Simon Barnes, who I'm very excited about. Um, and we're doing a photo shoot today, it's my first ever photo shoot. Um, seeing as it was my competition last week, um, I've been obviously in the best shape I've ever been in. Uh, so I've just dieted down again this week and um, cut the water back a little bit, but not too much. because. Um, I spoke to Simon, he didn't want too much of a harsh look for the photos, obviously when you water cut you become very dry and stuff, so um, cut a little bit out but not the same as competition kind of water depletion, but anyway, um, doing a bit of food prep now, just get a few meals ready just to get me through until the shoot and then it's going to be exciting times, um, I'm going to have probably, definitely tonight off and then I'm going to have two days I think, maybe three, who knows, um, where I'm completely off plan. Um, obviously dieting back down again this week, I haven't really had the chance to have anything that I wanted. I was Sunday night after show, had pizza and some donuts and stuff. And then Monday I had a few bits, but I couldn't go too wild because I was conscious of the shoot um, on today. So not really had masses of food that I've been craving. So tonight my plan is to cook a really nice curry when I get home and then I've got other bits and bobs. I'm not really craving like shit stuff, I'm craving whole meals like like the simple things like lasagna and curry that like I'm going to have tonight and I've got some um, barbecue pulled pork, it's things like that, I'm going to have sweet potato fries, things like that I'm really craving, so like more like whole meals rather than chocolate sweets and all that kind of stuff, so looking forward to that. Um, and then we start Project Mass Sunday, I'm back training, so it's going to be heavy training, um, really need to add some mass, so we'll do that as well. Um, today's plan, Kay's got a train today, it is quarter to nine now and we're leaving at ten so I'm just going to get some food prep in, drop Kay at the gym and then I'm going to go to Asda, um, I've been wanting to go to Asda for a while, there's not one round here um, where we live but the one, there's one five minutes from the gym so I'm going to go and have a look around Asda, they've got some pastes and things that you can make really nice sauces with. Um, that are low fat and low carb, so I'm going to go and have a little look around there. Probably show you what I pick up later as well. Um, so yeah, that's the situation of the day. Probably got about a two hour journey down to the photo shoot, so it's not too bad. Um, so I was thinking about getting some more donuts, but we're going to London again next weekend for Kay's posing weekend uh, workshop, and then obviously we've got body pile the weekend after, so there's plenty of opportunities for me to get some more donuts. Yeah. Because I love donuts and cookies. Cookies and donuts are the best. So I've already picked some cookies up today, just some ones from Tesco's. But the donuts, I think I'll save to maybe next weekend or the weekend after. Who knows? We'll have a look. Anyway, probably check in later. Um, I'm not sure later when, but we'll see when you see. Oh, look at my tangerine hands. Yeah. Very good. Peace. What's good, YouTube? Uh, checking in. Done my po done posing, not posing, photo shoot, and it's flipping awesome. Um, kind of started off a bit, didn't really know what to do, but then as it progressed, I really enjoyed it and got some really, really wicked shots. So I can't wait to um, get them back, and Simon's going to do some edits for me on a few of them. So, like, really good experience, really enjoyed it. Glad I'd done it, and also, um, another thing off the list, kind of what I wanted to do. And Simon's invited me back as well for another photo shoot, so that's pretty cool. Um, overall, really happy of the shoot, and the photos are like really good as well. So, towards the end, I got really comfortable and kind of it showed on the photos. And um, so, yeah, it was a really good experience, and definitely one to uh, add to the portfolio as such. Um, really enjoyed it, but I am now on Project Mass, so starting as we mean to go on. I have got a Starbucks Frappuccino with all the caramel sauces and all the delights in. <laughs> Kaylee has skinny latte because obviously she's still prepping. Um, so yeah, that's how it begins now. We're on Project Mass now. Really need to add some size and come back crazy next year. Um, so that's how it went. Didn't get any footage in there. Felt a bit rude if we just kind of whacked our camera out. Um, <laughs> 
and I was shooting for like three hours anyway, so didn't really get a chance. But Kay was obviously watching me and stuff, and it was quite interesting I for really her to watch. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's good to watch. Because really well. yeah, Simon went into more um, obviously photo shoots for different federations, Miami Pro and so on. So he's teaching me a lot about posing as well. Um, and he talked to Kay obviously about her posing and stuff because he obviously knows what he's doing as he shoots people. So he knows what poses people should be hitting and stuff. So I learned a lot as well as had a good time. So it's been a really good experience and um, big thank you to Simon as well and especially invite me back. So we'll definitely be going back. And we were talking and um, me and Kay want to after Kay's first show's done Miami Pro, she's thinking about doing the UK BFF like me, so mm. our shows could potentially line up, um, which would be great for us to get a photo shoot together as well. So that was one thing we were... Well, that's not for like another year yet. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you have to stay tuned for that. More reasons to subscribe anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was good. Now I'm going to go home, a couple of hours to get home, and I'm cooking a curry. Yes. And I'm not having a curry, surprisingly. Curry! <laughs> So Project Mass, well, actually, training Project Mass begins tomorrow, but diet, I'm having a couple of days off now as I went straight from last Sunday, had some naughty treats on Monday, but then other than that, they're straight back onto diet, so haven't really had a chance to kind of had some nice meals and stuff. I wasn't really craving, um, like, sweets as such. I'm still craving, like, meals, so I'm going to have a nice curry tomorrow and a few other bits, which I'll obviously film and stuff, so... But you got to bear in mind these aren't the healthiest. There are alternative ways to make these curries, which I do on the channel because I'm gonna do a cooking series as well. Um, so these aren't gonna be necessarily macro-friendly meals. Um, so just bear that in mind if you're gonna copy them. They're not macro-friendly. They're not for diets. They're not for diets. It's gonna be nice fatty sauces. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, check in probably when I get home now. So later's. Good YouTube, checking in, um, now home and just looking at a few of the photos to give you a sneak preview. Look at that well, that's going to fake this. Yeah. So, a little hard job now, deciding which ones we want to edit up. I've got to choose five and there's like 250 photos on there. It's going to be a hard job, man. Some really good photos. Um, wicked, wicked shoot. But anyway, cracking on with some food. What am I making? Pretty simple. Chicken, rice. I'm gonna add this on because I'm being lazy tonight. Uh, just Packers chicken korma. The macros are absolutely crud, so I don't suggest you use this if you're after a healthy fix. But I'm not because I'm fat. Um, Nan spam, poppadoms, all of the essentials. So gonna dig into that. Wait for that to cook. Uh, look at a few more photos and then we'll make a decision tomorrow and get some edit ed edited a little bit edited up so wicked wicked day good end to the week buzzing to get some edited up so I'm um, probably running into tomorrow so I haven't really got much footage for today so Kay's on the uh, cardio bike and so yeah we'll probably check in tomorrow now uh, back training again tomorrow as I said project mass Project mass, seriously need to add some mass. Uh, so that's back tomorrow. Um, cooking up some nice meals as well, so I'll check in with some meals what I'm doing tomorrow. Again, not macro friendly, so do not follow if you want macro friendly meals. Um, as I said, I'm gonna be doing uh, variations of these meals, so they are macro friendly in the coming weeks on the cooking series that I'm gonna do. But um, next few days, any food that I show you is not macro friendly, guys. So I'm not even gonna attempt to put the macros on the screen so do not do them if you want macro friendly meals um, yeah got a quick check in don't know what we'll do tonight loaders non friendly macro curry at its best with popper doms lovely good morning youtube it is sunday the 4th 3rd sunday the 3rd of may um, now 10 to 8. I've been up since about half six. Uh, came downstairs about 10 past seven and I've been going through the photos of yesterday. Um, as I said, I had to choose five that Simon's then gonna uh, edit for me and make them look real sweet. So I'm really excited. I've picked five now. Hard choice, but I've done it. 
and I am cooking my almighty breakfast, breakfast of the champions. Um, what have we got? Bacon, and I've got these panini rolls from Asda that are put under grill and they go really nice and soft and awesomeness, and sausages. So, I'm put that all in the bun with some cheese, melt some cheese on it. Again, not macro friendly, not macro friendly at all. Um, so that's going to be breakfast. So I'm not looking forward to that. That's one thing I really crave during prep was cheese. Obviously cheese is nowhere near um, what you should be eating when you're prepping. So I haven't had cheese for so long. So I can't wait to have some cheese. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we have got these little bad boys. So I bought some Pop Tarts. Obviously they're not available in the UK, um, so I had to get them imported, but I thought I might, might as well go for all or nothing. So we've got cookies and cream, uh, cupcake one, and chocolate chip cookie dough. So, and they're the big ones as well, the proper ones. American one, the uh, English ones, don't have anywhere near as much as these do. But if you look at the macros actually on these, they're actually not too bad if it focuses. Ooh, are they going to focus? No, not going to focus. But anyway, I'll tell you. Macros are. Get you focused again. There we go. Okay. So, per pastry, they call it a pastry, I call it a slice, but um, five gram of fat. And 35 grams of carbs, so it's not too bad actually. Uh, I suppose if obviously if you're on low carb, then it's going to work. But if you're on high carb, that's quite a good. Uh, it's not much fat. You could use that for a good carb up actually. Interesting, new find. But yeah, so don't know which ones to duck into. I'll let you know. Anyway, check in and I'll show you what the masterpiece sausage, bacon, and cheese looks like. Layers. So there's the masterpiece pre microwave. So now we do pop it in the microwave, get that cheese all nice and melted. So we'll do that and then I'll check back in. And there we have it the finished masterpiece of melted cheese and we'll add some barbecue sauce. Can't wait to dig in. Yum, 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 yum. Definitely, definitely one of my favourite breakfasts is bacon, sausages, and cheese in a nice roll. And then we get the pop tarts out. Yeah. So here we have the cupcake pop tart. Mmm. Went back in for a second serving of sausages, bacon, and cheese, so I had to wait a little bit. But I'm absolutely gonna smash these, they smell so good. So let's dig into some pop tarts. First time I've had these kind. So let's smash it. God. That is some good pop tarts. <laughs> good as fuck. GAF rating, definitely. Oh my god, they're so good. So sweet. Definitely, definitely recommend cupcake pop tarts. Mm -mm. So, a couple of hours now, just done some uh, my accounting work and now working on the channel, getting it back up to scratch and looking how we want it, so updating a few bits and bobs and just updated a new video as well, Lock, unlocked that one so keeping it rolling now, getting back into it, I um, really want to push and push and push this channel there's so much footage we want to do um, so it's going to be great and just pushing the channel as much as we can now um, when you know what you want to do with it, it's then putting it into the kind of actions speak louder than words as such so just trying to do everything that I want to do with it you know and keep it moving with everything and yeah so spent a couple of hours doing work and spent probably an hour just updating the channel so um, having snacks and that I didn't really feel like there's really any point me filming snacks so um, gonna have a main meal in a bit so I'll film that as I said earlier homemade sweet potato fries so yummy Okay, so YouTube, so we're now going to do the main meal for today, which is the homemade sweet potato fries and the barbecue pulled pork kind of clubhouse sandwich type thing. So what do you need? You need um, barbecue pulled pork, and I've got this really cool one from Tesco's. It's probably upside down, back to front, whatever you want, but it's Tesco's um, own brand, but it looks really good. This kind of a, it's not a Tesco's finest, but it looks like that kind of product. 
Uh, and obviously you need your sweet potatoes ready um, to do. You need some coconut oil, you can either get this spray on stuff or you can get the big bottle and then some paprika to flavour the um, sweet potato fries and then obviously you need some bread or uh, panini type kind of thing so that's what we're going to do, get into it now, we'll obviously chop the potatoes and whatnot and get them all done so we'll crack on. There's the barbecue pulled pork, I've just got to drizzle the sauce on it. The sweet potato chips are still cooking in the oven, so they're nice and crispy. And I've now got the sandwich maker on, so I'm going to put the bread in there and then make it into, like, like I said, this kind of American style sandwich, pulled pork sandwich with sweet potato fries. So I'll show you the end result when it's all done. And there we have it, barbecue pulled pork with sweet potato fries. Mm -mm. What's good YouTube? It's Monday the 4th of May and I just wanted to wrap up yesterday's video because it wasn't done very well yesterday. Uh, yesterday evening didn't really do an awful lot to be honest after I made my food. Um, just went and chilled with Kay. And so today, um, as far as days goes, we've been to the gym today and done some shopping and stuff and got my diet ready for the week. Uh, so after today I'll be going back on to, well back on to, on to uh, a bulk diet. Um, plan obviously is to build some more muscle and stuff and um, see how we go. So I'm going to introduce the calories, introduce some more carbs and macros um, tomorrow. Obviously you can't just go straight back into a high bulk so I'm just going to gradually introduce stuff um, as and when I get hungry. I'm just going to obviously increase the dosages um, so the weight of the food that I intake I'll just increase, add another meal in maybe. Um, so it's just going to be a gradual increase in food so I don't put on the fat obviously so we'll see how it goes um, but obviously I'm going to do the bulking series which will start next week so I'll do probably once a week um, we'll do follow my food and maybe a bit of training and stuff and just follow my progress my weights what weights going on and so people can just just, just kind of see what's going on so yeah that's happening I'm going to do some product reviews as well um, but yeah so that this will wrap up for yesterday's video and today's and then next week we'll have a couple of series starting so I'm excited for that so make sure you stay tuned and keep it subscribing and keep all the positive comments coming because it's been great um, so yeah we'll check in next time